Have you ever been working in your laptop, maybe editing or even just browsing the internet and suddenly it feels like incredibly slow? You check your CPU and it's locked at crawling 0.79 MHz. It's super frustrating and it happens to a lot of people, especially with Dell devices. But the good news is the fix is usually much simpler than you think. So why does your laptop suddenly hit this specific 0.79 wall? There are typically three main reasons and they almost always point to power management. You might have low power delivery, your charger simply is not powerful enough for your laptop. Second and less common for this exact throttle, it could be overheating where the system slows down to protect itself. But the most common culprit, especially for Dell users, is an unrecognized or non-original charger even it seems powerful enough your laptop is smart and it knows when something is not quite right with its power source so let me share my own recent experience i got this new mini pc and it was unbelievably slow installing windows was a nightmare i kept getting a power supply not recognized message in the bios it seems like the seller shipped a non-original adapter as a troubleshooting step i decided to remove the pi cmos battery for about 30 seconds to fully reset the system power state and i've reconnected the charger again that chipped with it but no chance then luckily i had a genuine dell laptop charger laying around i swapped it in and immediately the bios error vanished and, and my cpu instantly jumped back to its normal speed the difference was incredible my sluggish pc transformed into a speedy machine all thanks to these few steps so here's your main takeaway. If your laptop is stuck at 0.79 MHz, don't panic about the major hardware failures just yet. Try a different power supply and consider a CMOS reset. Make sure it's a genuine original charger for your specific laptop model or mini PC and confirm it has the correct wattage. Even a slight mismatch can trigger this throttling. It's often the simplest fix but it makes a massive difference in your laptop's performance and saves you a lot of headache. Let me know in the comments if these steps solved it for your laptop. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button, share it, and subscribe for more straightforward tech fixes. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.